Hey guys, I'm Spray and Prey, and this is a new Let's Play that I'm starting, guys, and I will be your host for the entire time. Uh, we are going to be playing Victoria 2, and this is a special playthrough of Victoria 2 because we're going to be doing it with a mod. The mod is called the Modern Age, which basically means that, uh, well, you'll see what it means here. I'm going to take away the face cam, and we're going to just get acclimated to this new UI and stuff, so see you guys in a second. Alright, so this is the new map here. You can see that I've played a little bit just like for one year. The game actually starts out in 1992, which is kind of not really modern day, but you know, it's just right after the uh, Soviet Union fell and you know, but uh, basically this isn't really, you know, northern or modern day. A lot of the things are not modern day. It's really just, you know, a regular Victoria 2 playthrough pretty much, just with the modern map kind of. That's really the only difference. I mean, and you can see here that uh, that all of Africa has countries in it and stuff. And yeah, so no, nobody's sphered anything. Nobody has any army as well, which is kind of odd. But you can build it up really fast. So it's not really that big a deal. And uh, yeah, but uh, in this Let's Play, I got lots of requests, guys, to play the United States of America. And we kind of start off as the greatest power in the world, obviously, because, you know, we are. Um, that's also something they got sort of correct. And, yeah, so this is, I think it's going to be an exciting Let's Play. Uh, we're going to have the advantage, definitely, because of the fact that we're the greatest power. But I think it's going to be really interesting because, you know, we don't have all the crappy things that happen with the United States as of today. Of course, our government works, and uh, we also have no crushing debt. So that's actually really nice. And I, I really love how they did this new map. It's kind of, I, I think it's kind of cool looking. Anyway, I digress. Let's, um... Let's get started here, and I'll show you some of the things that are new. And this this is going to be a pretty short episode, guys, where I'm just going to introduce the, you know, mechanics and stuff. So uh, there's not going to be that much in the way of playing. We're just going to get ourselves ready to play. So in, on Thursday, that's when we're going to actually start rolling the rolling the time forward. All right, let's get off this ugly terrain view. Yeah, we know there's mountains here. You can kind of even still see it. I don't know why. But anyway, so here we are. We have the United States. Um... Yeah, so like Italy and everything is formed, France is huge, Germany is regular, is normal, and Poland. Wow. Is this really what the map looks like today? Jesus Christ, I didn't even know. I feel so dumb. I know so much about like medieval and like Europa Universalis geography now that I don't know what it actually looks like today. Anyway, alright, so for you can see that they've actually changed all the research here. And it's kind of weird because we have, this is, I think, a glitch or something. But, uh... You might want to just get that to stop it, but the first thing we're going to get is mobile network. And uh, this is basically just the first level of railroad, so railroads are really important and we're going to get that. Uh, we also have... How's our clergymen? Yeah, it looks like we're going to need to get academics. They're actually called academics, they changed the name of the pops a little bit. So um, we need to encourage... The, they still look the same, so it's not that hard. Oh, the academic actually has a different color. Yeah. But we need those guys because they give us more um, research points. I can't believe we're only a 74% literacy. Doesn't everybody know how to read in America? I don't know. Guess not. Um, we're going to start with some army as well. Let's get a... We got 21 to work with, so let's get like 10 infantry. We'll just build it randomly around here. So we'll get 10 mobile er, infantry units. Um, jets are the new Dragoons, and then tanks are Crossiers. It's basically the same unit. And then uh, mechs and drones are like airplanes and stuff. So I think we're going to build some 10 jets, maybe. Well, oh, and then artillery is like, uh, obviously artillery. So we don't have any access to anything besides these guys yet. So uh, let's see, what are we going to get? Let's grab some jets then. We'll build two in Seattle. Alright, so we're up to 15. Okay, we'll build some tanks. How about some 3, 4 tanks? And then we'll build one armored car. In Ho oh god, no, not Hawaii. Ugh. All right, well, we also need to build a navy, so let's look at that. Uh, the navy ships are not tra changed at all, so... Um, I think what we're going to do is build some steam transports. We're going to be going to debt a little bit, probably, in the beginning, because of all this uh, military that we're building. But it'll be, it'll be worth it, I think, in the long run. Let's build these nine transports here. And uh, I guess nine commerce raiders. That should be should be enough, right? No, how much do these things cost? Three supply weight, so three times nine is like a number. I, I think we'll be fine. 
Yeah, that should be okay. And then, of course, the Panama and the Suez Canals are there, so it'll be easy for us to transport our ships back and forth. All right. So we, we start off the game with actually quite a bit of sphering done already, like, for instance, Colombia. But I think it's going to be a good idea to sphere not only Canada, but maybe... Oh, I didn't know Denmark still owned that. And Iceland is free. Uh, anyway, I think it's going to be a good idea to sphere just the entire North and South uh, United States. Or Amer South and North Americas. All right, now we look, need to look at our taxes here. Obviously, you know... I'm going to tax the poor at 100%, and you guys are going to be like, no, don't do that. But it's okay, because, you know, this is not real life, and look at this. Our real efficiency is only 40%, so we're only actually taxing them at 50%. We're also going to need to tax... Oh, crap, no, it's the other way. I forgot, they actually rearranged this. The rich people are on top now, so we're going to drop the rich to zero so they can build us some factories, because I believe we only start out with, like, very few, very, very few factories right now. And um, we're going to need a lot of more things to go soon. We're gonna need a lot more factories as soon as possible so we want our capitalists and our property managers to be able to invest. Now we're gonna have to raise, uh, let's raise our tariffs up to 10%. I think it's gonna be just a good idea to have them there. Uh, nobody really cares. It doesn't really affect anything but it does give us a little extra money. Um, now we're gonna spend a lot on ed education at first so that's gonna be hard. Let's T tax the crap out of the poor because like I said we can only get up to 50 efficiency anyway so there's there you know they're not gonna we're not gonna get take all their money of course and then why what, what's doing bad already the uh, the who the small business owners which I believe are the artisans which we don't care about because artisans they should all turn into uh, factory workers and stuff anyways uh, let's let's raise our little our taxes just a little bit here because like it says we're gonna make a lot but I doubt it I think we're gonna have some trouble actually balancing our budget at first all right so now that we've gone over that stuff we've gone over our production uh, you can f invest foreignly it's just this is exactly like Victoria 2 just you know vanilla it's just a uh, you know the map map is different and there's some other decisions and stuff that you can do let's take a look do we have any do we have any cool, like, decisions to do? No, just restore it in the Academia. Which kind of sucks. I mean, decisions are, like, the most funnest, or the funnest part of the game, so... Kind of sucks that we can't do anything. Oh, well. Um, that's kind of cool that we can still release our satellites. But, um... Yeah, so we're probably gonna... I don't know what we're gonna be doing mostly in this Let's Play. I'm I'm, we, I'm gonna be really looking for you guys to suggest things for me to do because you know obviously the United States we're gonna be overpowered and um, maybe I I've, I have no idea like what my goal should be. I I I um I am really open to suggestion as of now. Uh, China like see it's kind of hard. The Russia usually ends up being the second most powerful country in the world, which is weird. Anyway. Um, yeah, so let's just make sure we've got all our stuff going here. Oh, we might want to use our points just at first. The UK, will they take an alliance from us? They will not accept. Why won't they accept me, damn you? Because uh, we have negative 100. That's really weird that we have such negative relations with them. Russia, I would understand, but how does the UK have such of a... I think that this is a thing left over from Victoria 2, where they're pissed off because of the revolution. But, okay, well, we're going to increase our relations here with the, the UK. All right, let's increase. Uh, okay. uh, we're probably going to want to start to justify war with somebody, but I don't know who. Like, uh, maybe we could take Cuba over or something, or make um, make Canada give us a province. I have no clue. Um, Quebec. We could make them release Quebec. I. I but I, I'm really curious as to like what you guys would like to see me do in this let's play. Of course we're going to build a powerhouse economy, and um, maybe we could get involved in some other wars over here and just you know. Uh, I think right away we actually start out with Iraq in our sphere, which is kind of sucky because it's like, how the hell are we going to get to Iraq? Because Saudi Arabia and everything is like around it. Might want to just throw them out of our sphere. We actually have a lot of spheres, so we should take, let's take a look at what the USA has as of in spheres. Protected by Afghanistan, oh, whatever, those are our things. Now, look at this, guys. We've got a bunch of guys that we're friendly with right now. A bunch of cordial, a bunch in our sphere. Iraq, Haiti, uh, South Korea, Republic of China, Philippines, Plow. That's, I think that's, um, I think that's Hawaii. Or is that, no, we just saw Hawaii like two seconds ago, didn't we? Nope. 
Marshall Island. Yeah, we got so many guys that we're protecting, and we got friendly with Italy. Is Italy a... Italy a power? No, they're a secondary power. Maybe we want to sphere them quickly, if we could. Let's just sort by opinion. I guess this is going to make it look be easier, so we can actually see um, Iraq, Haiti, Colombia, Burma, Afghanistan, United Arab... No. Oh, what's really nice and what they did a really good job on is the uh, with with this mod is the flags. All the flags are really detailed and like all correct, pretty much. Like, look at these guys. I mean, come on, how did you, how did you? It's really good flag doing. I mean, I mean, I'm sure it was like it's a really nice touch. I mean, even Brazil is correct. I didn't know France still owned province in in a. Here? Maybe maybe that should be our goal is to get France out of here. But look at this, like Nicaragua, Honduras, their flags are pretty much right, right? I'm pretty sure they're right. El Salvador, Mexico. And of course the USA and Canada have the correct flags, but um yeah. So let's see, is there any anything else? Just uh we got 70% conservative, 30% liberal. I don't know if that's that, if that's true as of the time period, but we do have some socialist ideas, so very soon that's going to change. It's just how we start out. We can release a lot of people as well. Um, okay, and our pop. Let's look at our pop, because they actually changed the pops a little bit. Our, we have like 15% of African American, but like if you look, it's like kind of weirdly distributed um, nationality. Now look here, down here, it's like... A lot of African American in the South here. I guess that makes sense, sort of. Um, there's some no, no culture, which is really weird. Um, so yeah, we're like, and then everybody up here in the North is American, I guess. And and then these are like 100% Native American. It's really weird. Like why why there's there's not that many Native Americans in the entire United States. Most of them are American. Yeah, but it's like, I guess this is just how they had to do it very very weird anyways um, I don't think we can I think well, if we look at our factories I do not I do not believe that we can actually um, build them no we can only just have them we do have some nicely sized factories already though the 666 here in Santa Fe it's kind of weird the distribution of our factories like why do we have so many in Santa Fe for God's sake really weird um, but, you know, this is a mod, it's not complete yet, so I, I understand. It's, like, probably really hard and to do this, and they probably spent a lot of time on it. You know, Paradox, when they actually made the real game, getting things so close to correct. Probably gonna, we're gonna want to subsidize all the factories on our list here, because they don't all do well right away. So, yeah, we'll work on them, though. Uh, I don't think we're gonna go ahead, I don't think we're gonna invest here just yet, because we, they, they're probably gonna get some investors anyway. In the Texas, the small arms factory in Texas. Um, just one, maybe we'll look around just for the last second here, and uh, oh, let's check out our production here. It says that we make a lot of coal, a lot of lumber, and uh, we should probably make yeah a lot of timber. So it looks like we've got a pretty good start, especially with this coal and iron. That should help us out. Uh, it is still you know Victoria too, so in the background, you know, just because there's a modern day map and some things and little icons, that doesn't mean that it's not got to look for those things. Um, yeah, we already sphered the Philippines. Maybe, maybe we'll go over here because we can actually justify war to create protectorates, I believe. Or can we, can we create protectorates? I got to, well, that might be something that's changed. Like, let me pick a little small place like Cambodia. Conquest. No, it's actually a conquest thing because they're mostly all developed nations. Let me look in Africa because there might be some undeveloped. No, these are all developed nations, so there's no. I don't think we can actually just conquest them for nothing. Yeah, this is just like one of the things here that that makes me feel like it's kind of weird how these things work out. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but like I said, you guys, you guys are gonna have to give me a lot of help here. If you tell me what you guys want to see, what we should do first. Um, if you think I set up the country correctly, please let me know. Uh, anyways, we're gonna. I'll join you guys on Thursday for the next episode and our modern day United States mod. I hope you enjoyed our opening here, and I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the series. It's me, Spray and Pray, and I'm signing out. See you guys later. I love you all. Spray and Pray out. <laughs>